University of Cape Town Vice Chancellor Professor Mamukhati Pakeng says the institution has launched an initiative for students who've not completed their studies. It's aimed at offering an additional pathway to employment and helping them unleash their digital potential. To tell us more about this digital boot camp, I'm now joined by Professor Pakeng. Thank you very much uh, uh, for speaking to us this evening. So before we get into the details about this digital boot camp, let's just talk a little bit about the dropout percentage at UCT and at other universities across South Africa and some of the reasons behind that. Yeah, I mean, there's a study that was undertaken in 2019, and it showed that 78% of university students could not complete their three year degrees in the allotted time. In fact, more than half had not completed their degree even after six years. And so this shows the, the large number of students just in South Africa that, that don't complete their university studies. And of course, there was also a quotation from the Minister of Higher Education and Science and Innovation, Minister Bladin Zimande, who was quoted in The Citizen two weeks ago saying that one of the challenges we need to confront is the number of students who enter our university system as a proportion of those who start grade one. And he said, out of 100 students, only 12 access university system and only six complete. So there's a large number of students out there who don't complete. Of course, for us at UCT, it's only 10% of our students who drop out. Uh, but for us, even the 10% is too much if you consider that these are the students who worked hard in their 12 years of basic education to be admitted to a university such as UCT. And so we felt that even with a 10% dropout rate, we've got to work at making sure that they can find another path to create a career for themselves or to, to start the climb up a career ladder. And they cannot do that. It's very difficult to do that without a degree. So we are creating another pathway for them to do that because not all of them, by the way, drop out because of academic reasons. There's a variety of reasons and there's a lot of shame with dropping out. Um, whether it's for academic reasons or not, there's a lot of shame that students experience. Mm. And especially when costs are one of those determining factors for students not being able to complete their degree, then it's absolutely vital that, that, that they are not lost to the system because of that reason. So let's talk about this digital boot camp. Uh, what does it entail? So the boot, digital boot camp, we're doing it together with Umuzi. Umuzi, which is um, uh, experienced, Umuzi has been running these uh, boot camps in the country very successfully, and we decided to work with them to, to, to devise uh, programs, different programs um, uh, uh, that students can choose, choose from and then um, uh, be trained and then from there stand a chance to be employed. We're not offering them just one, but we also, we're offering a variety. And then we, 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 we sort of creating, um, um, uh, there's, a, there's an aptitude test that they need to write. Uh, they write an aptitude test, then they get uh, accepted into whatever or not. If they, 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 they didn't pass the aptitude test, then they won't go through. But they write aptitude tests and then they get on with the program, depending on whatever program that they chose to, um, to enroll for. So is this program only open to uh, current or former students of UCT who may not have completed their degrees or for some of those who have completed their degrees but specifically want to, to attend this digital boot camp to get into that sector of the market? So, so the boot camp at the moment, we're running a pilot of 100 and we've targeted uh, students who did not complete their studies, who, whose studies were interrupted between 2015 and 2019. That's what we're doing for the pilot. We're focusing on that in that bracket. But it's not only students whose studies were interrupted. We're also inviting students who, who completed their studies and graduated but they did, they, they, it's three years down the line and they are not yet employed and, and they were at UCT. So at the moment with the pilot, we, we're just focusing on UCT 2015 to, 28, to 2019 and those who haven't been employed um, since completing three years ago. And, and, and they can choose on this program. And once we've done the hundreds, we want to get a sense 
how does it work, what do we need to strengthen, and so on. And we want to start with UCT, but the idea is to grow this program to include all interrupted study students in South Africa and, 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 and beyond, probably in Africa as well. But that's, that's what we're looking at because there's a lot of young people who are out there who can utilize these skills. And, and, and at the moment, we've got like about seven programs that are on offer that they can, they can choose to participate in. And I'm assuming because costs are such a big problem for so many students that this, uh, this digital boot camp would be sponsored and there would be no additional costs to students, correct? The, the digital boot camp is sponsored, and that's why we are inviting corporates to partner with us. Partner with us if they want to sponsor students to go through the program, but they can also partner with us if they need the skills. And they say, these are the skills that we need. Can you train young people? And then we will select from there. We are willing to work with corporates in that way so that we can develop the skills that they need. All that the students need to do, the interrupted study students, is to get a laptop and data. That's all that they need to have, but the program will be fully sponsored um, uh, as, as we, 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 con we keep looking for sponsors who, who have particular needs in, uh, in terms of digital skills. I know viewers who are interested are going to want contact details where they can get more information. Just give us a website. Um, website. I want to give you something that's, that's quicker. Um, go ahead, absolutely. UCTdigitalbootcamp.ac.za. Fantastic. And lastly, I want to ask you whether you think the tertiary degrees offered in South Africa at the moment are plugging the skills gap effectively. You know, the, the, the degrees as offered, they, they do. You know, oftentimes we think that with the future of work, the current degrees are useless. They are not. There's a lot of degrees. Many of the degrees that we offer are still needed. What we encourage students to do at UCT is that whether you are in humanities or in any faculty, make sure that you take programs um, uh, in data, in IT, to strengthen your skills. So the gone are the days where you only take humanities or social sciences subjects only. Mix your skills make sure that you are ready for the fourth industrial revolution. My view is that the degrees are not useless anymore. Uh, it's just that we are, not, we are not producing particular kinds of skills. And, the reason, and that's the main reason why we started the digital bootcamp, because many corporates out there still continue to import skills from India, digital skills from India, uh, because that's one area where we are not producing enough. And these skills don't need to be, you know, the, the students don't need to have university degrees, actually. They need to have a skill which can take six months to develop, 12 months to develop, and they can get into the job. And those skills, corporates, companies, some companies still go to India to do that. And we're saying we can do that. It is not only academic degrees that will get you to the top or get you to, to develop a career. You can develop a career even with a one-year program or six-month program that you get into and, and you, you are equipped, you can immediately get into the job and meet the needs of a company. So if you haven't completed your degree, all is not lost. Thank you so much. That was UCT Vice-Chancellor Professor Mamukheti Paking.